we're going to use the lathe to make the tabernacle or the post that holds the ensign at the back of the boat. And it's a very, very fine piece. At the top end, it's one millimeter, which tapers back to two millimeters. And then there's a small piece that's flat at two millimeters, and then it goes down back into a point at one millimeter at the base. So the way you do this is very gently. This is the second one I'm working on. Um, first one broke. So this one is coming out pretty good at this stage. We use the lathe to take the, the piece down because I think it's a four millimeter uh, post that I was doing. And then a series of different types of sandpaper, all being very gentle. And each time we use sandpaper, you make sure that it is supported and you don't press it. This large sanding board is, is very useful um, because sometimes, for instance, when we use sandpaper like this, um, it becomes uneven as we're taking more off the top than on the bottom. And so using the big flat um, sanding board, I'm able to smooth out those little bumps and bring it down. You need a lot of patience and you need to constantly be taking measurements as you go along um, checking and checking and then going back down um, this is a slow process and I suggest you take your time otherwise you're going to break many of these posts before you get the final one so this gives you a good idea of a scaling bar you, you really need to start if you're using the lathe and, and come back down this way um, so these are the two marks here, we're going to take this down and then we'll eventually cut it off here. That takes all the stress off of this when you're grinding it down. Otherwise, she will simply break on you. I'm going to take it down first using the lathe. The first video shows the end of the um, tabernacle supported and that's not how you actually um, take the bulk of the waste material off. Um, you start by sticking the dowel in with just about a half an inch sticking out of the, of the lathe. And then you use your, your cutting blades to take off the bulk of the, um, of the waste material. That you Real fine work. And then the rest of it is actually done with sanding, sandpaper, or uh, any one of the um, various sanding tools that you may devise to get the taper done. The taper is actually done by hand, it is not done with the lathe. So here we have the piece all done. Just remember that you need, when you're sticking this onto the housing here, you need to leave a little space here um, because we have to put a top a rail and you need a little bit of an overhang. Now we're going to stick um, the piece onto the tiller housing. So we need to get rid of all of that paint, get back down to wood. So we are sticking wood onto wood, not onto paint. I am now preparing the uh, messenger snatch blocks. Quite late in the bill, but this is when I decided that um, it was the best time to do it. And of the blocks provided, more than half of them were broken. So we put some sear on them, we're letting it set, and we'll see if we can get them out in one piece. We found another great use for the turbo carver, as you can see right here.
it's come out unscathed. I really wish I had had this tool early on so that I could have taken out so many of the parts that broke because of the, um, the way the grain is on some of these very delicate parts. Scratch bill. Um, one of the challenges you have with small parts is finishing them, particularly blocks. It's really quite annoying to me when I see someone spend a huge amount of time um, and, and, and effort to, to build a beautiful boat. And then when it comes to the blocks, which are all over the, the strong boat, um, you see square blocks and they're not very nicely finished. So these snatch blocks um, having cleaned them up and sanded them up, we are now going to put the final touches to them. And we're putting some sanding sealer on it right now. Um, when that's completed, we'll sand it again. And then put the, at least one coat of varnish, um, the polyester um, paint on it. And with very fine sandpaper, clean that off. And once we're satisfied, That'll be the end of it. So I urge you to really take the time. Um, it's a bit of a pain, but take the time to finish all your blocks. There are quite a few hundred of them, so it'll take some time. And what I do is sometimes I'm just sitting in front of the television watching news or something, and I'll just take a batch of blocks. And while I sit there, um, quietly start cleaning them up.